Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. Today, in a stunning turn of events, it's raining in England, and we are taking on Newcastle in the FA Cup. This is our competition. Of course, we have a stated goal to win every competition in which we participate this year. Um, we're going to find a way, hopefully, to do that. Uh, so this is a winner-go-home competition. We've got to beat Newcastle today, um, but we're playing them at home. We've got Dima Goldrilocks and Jesus Angel uh, up front. It's sort of the uh, Swindon B team today. We're exhausted after our nil-nil draw at Manchester United a couple days ago. Um, but we do have, there will be Flood playing as well as Leroy Williamson. And uh, we got Fat Lucas in goal. I keep meaning to start Mark, uh, inventor of Netscape Anderson. But, you know, Fat Lucas, as long as, as, long as he's not giving up goals, I, I can't, I can't, what can I do? Like, what do you suggest? You know, I mean, he's great. He's, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. He may be a 49. It may be an algorithmic game in which all that matters is numbers. But, I mean, he keeps winning, so he makes people miss. It's his fearsome presence. So uh, today I'm going to talk about Crash Course and how it feels to be a teacher. That was something you guys asked me to talk about. Come on, referee Chris Mumple, you're better than that. Um, uh, how it, how it, well... So, I mean, the truth is I've always wanted to be a teacher, like, uh, and I never wanted to teach. The, the only thing that I'm quote-unquote qualified to teach is, is writing, right? Like, uh, I, I, writers um, who, who publish books, and they can usually or they can often go and find some kind of writing job at a university level um, or a high school level where they get to uh, write for... Um, where they get to write for students, I mean, read students' work and workshop it and talk about how to write and stuff. That's a great skill. Um, it is one of the few things that I'm totally uninterested in teaching because I feel really unqualified to teach it and also just, yeah, don't hurt my guy. Um, I, I, I've never known how to teach writing. And I've always been, I mean, I had a great writing teacher in college, P.F. Kluger. Um, who taught me a lot about how to write stories and how to think about stories, um, but I never felt like I could do it myself. I just never, it just never seemed like something I could do. So um, the one thing that I'm kind of qualified to teach is the, also the one thing that I, I don't think I could teach uh, very well and that I, I, don't, I don't really know anything. I feel like I don't know anything about. I still feel like I don't know anything about how writing works or, or what good writing is or any of that stuff. Um, I don't know how to answer those questions. I don't know how to, like, read other people's work in a way that's going to be helpful to them. I never have. So, um, but I always loved teaching and I always dreamed of teaching. I always really wanted to teach, um, you know, like uh, English, uh, particularly English. I love, I love reading and reading critically and, um, and, you know, that's such a big part of my life. Oh, that Lucas, I love you so much. Um, such a big part of my, my life as a writer is reading. Um, but I, I, I also never wanted, I, I, you know, I never wanted to go get a master's degree, all the stuff you got to do to become an actual real teacher. So Crash, so like when we would have opportunities on the Vlogbrothers channel to, to kind of use, make educational content, whether it was me talking about Catcher in the Rye or um, the French Revolution or whatever it was, or just trying to explain, you know, things in, um, in economics that, uh, that, that, that affect um, policy and that, that uh, you know, there's a lot of rhetoric about but not a lot of clear, oh, schmerg. Oh, Fat Lucas can't get to those, the, that stuff on the corner. That's not his specialty. You can't ask him to get that far over. That's not good. We gotta take a we gotta take a long hard look at ourselves right now, and say, are there any needed second half substitutions, such as maybe John Green and or John Green? All right, Flood's a little bit tired. We got some tired guys, and this is just a disaster. I don't know how how did this happen? It's Newcastle. This shouldn't even be a challenge. All right, so um, the. Uh, yeah, so whenever those opportunities would come up, I would always be really excited about it, but it was so much more work than a regular Vlogbrothers video. Like, I mean, cause, because you have to worry so much about accuracy and, and trying to explain things completely, and um, uh, and there's so many more visuals that you have to use to try to get it... Oh, Moog! Um, to try to get it uh, to... To, to look good and, and to make sense so that, I mean, one of the one of the things that's really important to me is that people don't just learn by, by hearing you say something. They learn by hearing you say something while you're showing it. Um, and so that's one of the things that, that hopefully Crash Course does really well. Um, because we show, you know, primary documents while we're talking about them. We, we illustrate uh, through, you know, paintings and video and everything else. 
that we try anyway to show the stuff that we're talking about in in action um and that uh that's really fun but it's a massive amount of work as you can imagine like it's just a total you know oh you gotta curl it in you gotta curl it in just like sorry i spent all my time talking to a toddler um so I always wanted to do that, but it, the, the, the you know, because it seemed to me like the things that scared me about United. becoming a real teacher were um, first having students who might not want to be in class. Like there's a tremendous challenge that every teacher faces that I don't face when I'm when I'm making Crash Course, which is that everybody who watches Crash Course wants to watch it. Like they want to see it. They're interested in it. They've they've chosen to be there in a way that um, that that real um, real teachers they don't have that luxury. Like they go into a classroom many many times, knowing that like the people who are gonna watch, we're gonna like see them that day. They don't they don't want to be there. Like, it's not you know like their dream to be there. So hold on. Hi, Elise. Good, I'm filming Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. You want to say hi to the Swoodley Pooper supporters? Performers. Supporters. They're not performers. The only, the, the only performers are the people who are playing in the game, and they are doing terribly, by the way. Um, so I'm going to, if it's, if it's okay with you, I'm going to take out, I, it, this is a hard decision, but I think I've got to take out uh, There Will Be Flood, and I think I've got to put in um, Silent But Deadly Merrick Merrick. Or Fahey. No, I'm going to put in Fahey. And then I'm going to put in John Green and John Green for the second half because we've got to win this game. It's win or go home in the FA Cup. So we've got to find a way. So we're going to we're, – we're making all of our substitutions here at the beginning of the second half. Uh, can I call you back? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Right, so, um, so here we go. We're bringing on everybody. Uh, Fahey's going to anchor the middle. We're going to have John Green and John Green up front. God, look at beautiful ball – other John Green made Bennett. He's so handsome. He's just shaking it out. Yeah, shake it out, baby. All right. So um, I always wanted to be a teacher, and this finally gave me a way to do it without having to do all the stuff that terrified me, talking to students, um, being in the physical presence of other human beings, uh, and then also like being around students who may or may not want to actually learn the material that I'm trying to teach. Um, so like the, the, the biggest, uh, in some ways, like the hardest job, I think, that, that, that teachers face is they have to find a way to make the subject interesting um, while also, you know, like fulfilling all of these curriculum requirements, like, the, you know, it, teaching to the test. Like, like you want your students to, to do better in quantifiable ways so that um, they get into college and, and also so that, you know, like your school gets continues to get funding and all that all that stuff does not interest me at all like that doesn't seem fun in the least to me um and uh so that was that was kind of what always kept me from wanting to pursue a life in the classroom um and i have i should say massive admiration for real teachers and i don't for one second think that i'm a real teacher uh because all the things that make my job all the things that i do on crash course i couldn't do as a real teacher, um, and I would not be a good real teacher, I don't think. So I do, I, yeah, so that's important to say. Oh, also important is that this is a big opportunity for us. Oh! Oh, he couldn't get off his feet! And oh, what just happened? What just happened? What happened? I don't understand what just happened. How did it, how did these events occur? I don't, what how did Leroy Williamson not score there, first off? I don't, Leroy Williamson, he had to score. Uh, what happened? What just happened? What? I mean, what? How? The things that have happened are things that are not possible. Impossible things have occurred. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know how to deal with this situation. We've got to, We we just got to come back. If we get a tie, if we get a tie, we get a replay, and that that would be that would be sufficient at this point, obviously. Um, but I'm, mostly, I'm just in com complete shock. 
So I'm going to stop talking about Crash Course, and I'm going to desperately try to get, it, get, get this game back in hand. Come on! Boys. Boys. How did Leroy Williamson not score there? And then how did we, like, turn around and give up, give up a goal from, like, 40 yards out? I know it may be that they've solved the Fat Lucas problem and they've revealed that he cannot go to the corners. Um, but, oh, my goodness. This is insanity. This is total craziness. Come on. Oh, guys. Now you're not even trying. Now you're just, you're just doing this to make me mad. We need to go to all-out attack. Ultra attack mode. This is just craziness. And then we've got to get a goal. We've just got to go. We've got to get a goal because then we've got to go get another goal. So um, we need to have a massive Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper comeback right now. No! Why do you bike it out of bounds? Obviously. Obviously. I didn't want to go out of bounds there. Oh, it's, now, now you've got to think that the Swoodley Poopers are potentially out of the FA Cup. Could it be? I just, I'm not ready to accept it. I'm not ready to accept that possibility. And neither is ball! Yes, and neither is ball, John Green! Get up! Go get the ball! Go get the ball! Go get the ball! Yes, run! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Great, great goal from ball, John Green. Great goal. Great. Go, 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 go. We got five minutes. We got five minutes. We can do this. Ultra attacking mode. Go, 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 go. Get the ball! Get that ball! Come on! We'd get a replay if we score again. Go, 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 go. Ball, John Green. Leroy Williamson! Ball, John Green! Oh, it's tied! It's tied! In the 89th minute, it's tied! It's tied! It's tied! It's tied. We get a replay! Oh, yes! Oh. Oh, I know you guys say that my screams are annoying. I apologize, but that is, I mean, that is thrilling stuff. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we can still win this game. This is a winnable game. Let's just win it. Let's just go ahead and win. Let's stay in ultra attacking and see if we can go ahead and win this game. Come on, made of win, made of win. Up the corner. He's really good. He's really fast. He's made of win. Go, 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 go. Cross it in. He's there. Nope. No. Get it. Get it. Get the ball. Get the ball. Go. Oh, it's going to be a draw, but what a fantastic comeback. Two goals in the last five minutes. So the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers will get another crack at Newcastle United. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll try to talk about Crash Course next time. Sorry, I just had to really focus there at the end. And, and, and uh, well, yes. Best wishes.